Hello everyone. Welcome to my lessons. This is Kakur Bernard. Today I'm taking you through practical question 4 in a database. And so they are telling us to create a database file called my database with the registration number in the folder you created. Meaning that as usual, we shall first create a folder in our names. Kakur Bernard. And then after creating this folder, we can open it. Then inside, we create a database file, say Microsoft Access Database, and we give it a name, my database, hyphen 062, enter twice to open. So when your database opens, you should always enable content. So after enabling content, so here is our number that create a table in design view and assign appropriate data types, save it as employee table. So we are going to create a database called employee table. We go to create table design. So for the names we have ID, we have name. We have, you can click OK, we have sex, we have post, we have DOB, date of birth, we have amount in brackets, UGX, cross the brackets. So when you look at our table, generally our table, this is text, a mixture of letters and numbers is always as, uh, taken as text. Names is text, sex, text, technician, uh, text, date of birth is date stroke time, amount is number. So they are saying that after writing this, we can assign data type text, text. And then we come to date of birth. This is date stroke time. Then amount. This one is number. So after assigning that, the question says, for purposes of validation, enter a rule that will limit amount fee to not exceed more than shillings 91,000. So we are going to change the validation rule after choosing amount number you come to validation rule and you say less equal to 91,000 then enter a text that amount that amount fee limited to not more than shillings 91,000. And then when you look at this amount in UGX, meaning that you should have that UGX, you should have UGX assigned there. So meaning that we can have it also and a number, the format, you open quotes, UGX, close quotes, space, hash, comma, more three hashes. Put a primary key on ID. And then, what's the next? And change that format to medium date so meaning that we come to date under date stroke time you come down to format move here and choose medium date so save the table as save the table as employee you click ok so click view 
data sheet view so this is our table id number one is c001 name is Iga moses sex is m post is technician sorry we are not supposed to enter data in our table but rather we have skipped the uh, question sorry about that sorry about that sorry about that next question says that create a form called employee entry form and insert the following record so we are supposed to create a form so we go to create form wizard from employee take all fields click next next and call it employee entry form click finish so here is where we are supposed to enter the information in our form for example code is c001 sex is eager moses sex is m post is technician and then do date of birth is 03 may 1999 and amount is 50000 so when you when you finish this you click there for a new entry until when you write the whole of this is done so our form is now done so our form is done we have 12 people in there so when you are done you can close your form so whatever you enter goes in your table so we have the information there next are the instructions that we are supposed to answer create a query to show all female employees who are programmers and name it programmers so we are going to create a query you can close your table we got create query design add close put all the fields on your query criteria under sex go to builder and say like we can simply write f click ok then criteria under post criteria under post this will be here f then criteria under post builder and say program double m click ok and run your query so these are females and they are programmers save it as programmers click ok and close your query next one instruction is if employees at this if um, if the employees pay a tax of 15 percent of the amount create a query to compute for tax in a new field named tax save this query as revenue tax so tax is 15 percent we are going to create a, a query in design add and cross put all the fields and then in a new field here you go to builder tax is 15 percent that is 15 out of 100 times bring your database tables employee amount 15 percent of amount click ok remove this word xpr1 and put tax run your query and so this is tax you can reduce it save changes and call that query revenue 
tax click ok close your query then next question says create another query from revenue tax query that will return employees net pay in a new field net pay save it as net pay not net pay is amount minus tax so we create a new query query design add and close and so put all the fields oh, sorry we are supposed to create this query from the revenue tax query create query design add close uh, sorry we create query design so from here you click queries click revenue tax add cross put all the fields criteria click in a new field after tax so go to builder so here you will click my database queries revenue tax get amount minus tax click ok so rename this and call it net pay run it so this is net pay save your query as net pay click ok and close your query next is uh, create a form from the above query include date and time with the foot of your names and the reg number on your form so that we create a form from form wizard and then from our net pay query take all the fields click next next so we shall call this net pay form finish so this is our form with all the fields in the net pay query and so they are telling us that on our form we should add a footer of our names and rig number take your form in design view and then create space here for the footer bring a rebel capital a small a draw there put your names and your reg number click in the form save changes after putting they need also date and time so click date time you accept date time next add at least two command buttons so command buttons we want to put our command buttons command buttons are located here button click on it you can click there so here you can say form operations and you say this will cross form you click next next finish put another button and say this button on record operations save record next next finish these buttons are always used for example if you put your form in form view this is used to save instead of clicking here so you use this to save your records this is used to close instead of using here you will use this to close your form that's the purpose of those buttons next on our instruction create a query to display those with no amount of values save it as valueless so when you look at our information we have those people who don't have any amount in there they want us to return those people create 
query design add close put all the fields criteria and amount builder and so you will say is null is null n u l o l click ok run your query and so these are the people who have no amount values save it as value less click ok close your query next we have create a query to display a post of engineer finance or technician save it as post so they want us to return a query of three values query design add close that you create a query to return a post so criteria under post builder so here we shall use in space open brackets open quotes we need engineer close quotes comma open quotes finance close quotes comma open quotes technician so here we have assigned three posts close quotes close brackets so whenever you are asked to return more than three items you put them in quotes and under brackets separated by commas click ok run your query so this is technician engineer finance there are no posts like programmer and any other post that we were not asked save it as post click ok and close your query next on our instruction is to create a query returning or the post excluding technician save it as exclusion so here we are going to create a query query design you add and close put all the fields criteria under post builder so from here we are going to say less greater less greater technician this one excludes technician these two symbols are for exclusion they mean not so we want any other post apart from technician run so all other posts are here apart from technician save it as exclusion click ok close your query next on our instruction is to create another query that will filter members born during 1999 and after 2004 during 1999 and after 2004 so we create query design add close put all the fields and so criteria under dob go to builder during 1999 so we shall say date part date part open brackets open quotes y four times close quotes comma double click your database bring tables employee dob then close brackets and say equals 1999 that is the year we need click ok criteria below date of birth builder so here we shall say uh, greater greater 31st stroke 12 2004 click ok so this is for during this one is for during 1999 this is for after 2004 
run your query this is 1999-99 then after 2004-2010-69 save it as here click ok and close your query next on the instruction is to create a parameter query basing on the post save it as parameter so a parameter query is that query that will always prompt you to enter a certain value to get results let's see how to create it create query design add close put all the fields criteria under post go to builder so from here you will open the square bracket and you can write a value and say please enter a post then you cross the square bracket click ok so when you run it says please enter a post let's say technician technician then you click ok I think the spelling was wrong if I run and say programmer you click ok so it returns those who are programmers save it as parameter you click ok and close your query next on the instruction is that we are supposed to to create a query to calculate the age of all employees who earn a salary less than 500,000 to create a query to calculate age of all those employees who earn a salary less than 500,000 so we create query design add close put all the fields criteria under DOB criteria under date of birth then amount so we create a new field for calculating age and then we go builder and say date diff open brackets y4 times cross quotes comma bring the database my database bring tables employee then date of birth we put a comma scroll down to common expressions double click current date cross the brackets click ok so here we are calculating age so you can say age come to criteria under amount you build and say less 500 less 50,000 click ok less 50,000 age so when you run this query shows those people who earn less than 50,000 and their respective ages so with this you can save it as age with less 50,000 click ok close your query Next on our instruction is to create a report that create a report showing all records with post in ascending order, tabular layout, include your name as a footer and the heading of your choice in the header. Save it as employee report. So we create a report wizard from the table click next next 
and so we are going to sort post in ascending order so next here select post ascending and tabular portrait click next and this report is called employee report you click finish so here is our report you can see date of birth and amount are in hash hash the columns are small so let's expand them by closing print preview so from here we can reduce some columns like this id so we bring them backwards and then for sex we can reduce it the more and put it around there then uh, date of birth we bring it there and try to expand also unit I mean amount so when you go to view when you go to view report view you can see that everything is now clear so take it back to design view and put take it back to design view we need to put a footer of our names and a heading of our choice so from here we reduce this we expand that create space bring a label you draw there put there your names and then your personal number then we put a heading and say that employee report details 2020 that is the heading save click on view report view heading footer report adjusted save changes close your report next on the instruction is using the above report add a third actual age determine their ages so that we open this employee report and we use this report to calculate for age put it in design view so that we can now use this report to calculate age and so how do we do that we can reduce a bit so that we create a new field here so this new field first of all we shall get a label capital a small a you put it above and so here we can say actual age so after putting actual age we shall come here and put a text box this this is a label for headings and footers then this is a text box which we which which shall help us to do calculations you draw it there so after drawing it there click this and delete it and remain with this unbound so this unbound come and click property sheet so that you have this click the data tab click these three dots and so we are now in our expression builder age date diff open brackets open quotes y4 times close quotes comma in the middle here look for dob without the word label double click comma common expressions current date close brackets click ok so this is our formula close that form view i mean report view here is our actual age calculated 
save changes, close your port. What's the next? Given that the total, the total amount to be paid is 91,000, calculate the balances for the members in a new field named balance, use a query, save it as balance. So let's create a query design, add and cross, put all the fields, come to a new field, builder, that total membership fee is 91,000, then minus membership fee from my database, uh, tables, employee, amount, click OK, remove this and put balance, balance, run your query so here is balance save it as balance click ok and close your query next one the instruction is to create a query to filter out those members whose post is ending with letter er so we create query design add cross Put all the fields, criteria under post, click there, builder, so we say like, space, open quotes, put star, put er cross quotes, mean this star stands for the beginning characters, this is for ending characters, you click ok, then run your query. These are the ones ending with the ER. Save it as end ER. Click OK and close your query. So this marks the end of our database number. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I remain Kapur Bernard. Bye bye.